I have received permission from Diane Alber to read and post her stories and works. If you would like further information about this author, please visit her website at www.dianealber.com or to purchase her books, visit Amazon and search her name, Diane Alber. Thanks. Good morning, boys and girls. Today I'm going to read you the story, A Little Spot Learns Online, a story about virtual classroom expectations, written and illustrated by Diane Adler. Hi, my name is Spot. I hear you're going to start learning online, and I'm here to help. That's great. Learning online is new for us, so any tips would be helpful. Absolutely. Learning virtually or online is like learning at school, but it just feels a little different. Instead of learning in a physical classroom at school, you will be learning on a computer in a virtual classroom at home. You will still see your teacher and all the kids in your class, and they will be able to see you too. So you definitely don't want to be in your pajamas. Joining a virtual class is like going to school so you should wear something comfortable and appropriate. This will help you get your mind ready to learn and help you stay on schedule too. Eat before you join your class online. You don't want a grumbly stomach when you're trying to learn. Eating while you're in a virtual classroom can be a distraction, not only to you, but to your teacher and classmates too. Don't worry, your teacher will have scheduled snack breaks. Be organized and prepared you should avoid getting up and leaving your classroom session. So, having a water bottle nearby is a great idea in case you get thirsty. Make sure you have the school supplies that your teacher recommends in close reach as well. And the biggest thing of all, don't forget to go potty before you join a virtual class. Find a good place to sit. You might want to sit on the floor or the couch, but this can get uncomfortable. When you are uncomfortable, you move around a lot. Try sitting in a chair. This will help you stay upright and focused. If you don't have a desk chair, a dining room chair works too. Create a quiet space. A place with few distractions can make learning easier. And look behind you. Teachers and students can see what is in the background of your computer camera. So make sure that it is appropriate too. And all technology like TVs or phones or radios should probably be off. Now look around you. Make sure all your toys are put away. All the food is out of reach and any pets are in another room. Always try to be on time. When you are on time, it shows respect for your teacher and that you are responsible. Sometimes there can be technical problems, so always try to join a virtual class five minutes early. This way, an adult can make sure your computer is fully charged, your camera works, and your microphone is muted. Now you're ready to learn. You will be able to learn the best when you are eyes are watching the computer, ears are listening, mouth is quiet, back is upright and not slouching, and hands are relaxed. When you have something to say, make sure you raise your hand and wait your turn. You can also hit the raise hand button on our Google Classrooms. Also, be sure your microphone is turned on so your teacher and classmates can hear you. Wow, you both are working so hard. I hope I've helped make this experience a little easier. I can't wait to see how much you learn and how much fun you will have with online learning. All right, boys and girls, I hope you like my story. See you guys again soon. Bye.